Welcome back guys in my another lecture. Let's start today's lecture uh, by reviewing what we covered in last lecture, okay? So as you can see here, atomic number, what does that mean? Can you just give me the answer? Atomic number is number of protons, good? Okay, we covered this already. If you don't know, you can go back and watch my videos. Mass number is number of protons plus number of neutrons isotope has same what atomic number but different mass number okay size of atomic mass unit often known as amu is 1.66 times 10 the power negative 24 gram which is also 1 12th the mass of carbon 12 atom which I did not mention in last lecture and this is worthwhile to know okay let's go here what there are like some elements are given here uh, you have to figure out how many number of protons on each of them has neutrons and electrons as well so the carbon here as you can see here carbon 12 so as you know the number of protons that's the number of protons that gives the identity to the carbon so the carbon falls what is the proton number is six okay hydrogen helium lithium beryllium boron right and the carbon which is six right what about the number of neutron now you have to combine some with some number to give the total number of 12 so what you have to put here six right six plus six gives here 12 okay so what about electrons carbon okay has electron number of six because it is a neutral atom neutral atom has what same electron number what I mean by neutral atom for example if you have a calcium and calcium 2 plus what is the difference calcium has how many electrons 20 right calcium 2 plus it 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 already lost two electrons so it has how many now total 18 electrons that's what I mean by that okay the oxygen here as you can see here oxygen 18 right so number of proton oxygen is what eight right that's good now what what's going to be the neutron number so you're going to put 10 here right so 10 plus 8 gives you 18 so what about the electron same 8 okay what about 16 oxygen 16 as you can see here so uh, here again the proton number is same the neutron number going to be what 8 now why this is different because these are two what isotopes oxygen 18 and oxygen 16 that's why isotopes only vary on the number of neutrons not in the proton okay the electron again it's eight right fluorine as you know the atomic number what is the atomic number of fluorine is nine so what, what what's going to be the number of neutrons then you have to make 19 right so what's you going to put here you're going to put sorry so you're gonna put what 10 right 10 plus 9 gives 19 so what about the electrons though electrons have what same like what number of proton because it's a neutral atom right so what are you gonna put here you're gonna put 9 good so that's how we end up uh, the reviewing whatever we covered last time if you're still confused you can go back and watch my lecture now today's topic what we're gonna focus is the difference between atomic mass okay and atomic weight what is the difference okay that's what we're gonna cover today so the atomic mass is like a mass number okay atomic mass is like a mass number so that means mass number is what atomic mass is like a mass number and the mass number is the combination of proton and neutron right it is almost nearly equal to that and there is like slightly different due to the binding energy which we're not going to cover here forget about that okay just know that atomic mass is nearly equal to the mass number okay so mass of a single atom or an individual isotope is the atomic mass in other words okay atomic weight on the other hand is the average avg average of what 
all naturally okay all what naturally occurring occurring isotopes isotopes of an element of an element so for example there's a carbon 12 and carbon 13 right these are two isotopes of carbon carbon 12 is i think 99 percent very abundant in nature and carbon 13 is only one percent abundant so what is the atomic weight okay if you want to find the atomic weight what you have to do is like carbon 12 is 12 times 99 percent right so you divide by 100 right now then you add them to the what this carbon 13 times 1 over 100 right okay that does not look good okay so that's 100 okay okay so if you do this what are you gonna get i think you will get 12.01 i think right that's what is that that's the one thing that you're gonna see on the atomic uh, atomic weight in the uh, periodic table if you look the periodic table the atom let's say carbon has the atomic weight written somewhere here 12.01 okay that's what we're going to use so atomic weight is the average of all naturally occurring isotopes okay now while we're talking about isotopes as i mentioned you already right we already reviewed that so the isotopes we encounter a term called half-life okay half-life basically going to tell you how stable okay the stability how stable how stable uh, that uh, that particular uh, isotope is for example if they have a longer half-life that means more stable that um, isotope okay so that's the uh, end of this lecture